Hello YouTubers and welcome to this vintage Lego set review. So this is set 6422, the telephone repair. Hey guys, so this is from 1998 um, from the Town series. Comes with 43 pieces um, and at the time in the States it retailed for $8.75. So that makes this set around about 16 years old. Um, obviously, given the age, it has got a bit of a wear and tear to it. Um, as you will see when we get a little bit closer, some of the bricks are also a little bit um, marked, a bit of sun damage, etc. Uh, but not bad for a 16 year old set. Okay, so first off, this comes with two instruction manuals. Um, very, very basic, so one for the vehicle and the tools. Um, and it just simply consists of, well, you see there, two steps on that side <coughs> and on the other side, uh, another two steps. So just pretty much, well, just one on there really. So a total of three steps for the vehicle. Um, and then where the actual telephone booth is itself. Again, very basic instructions, two steps there, and again, another step on the other side, so we'll take the three steps for that. So that's our two instruction manuals. Okay guys, so let's take a, look, a closer look at the set now, and we will start off with that minifigure. Okay, so there we go, there's our minifigure, the Telephone Repair Man, um, and you can see that front torso print in there. Um, got a little name badge on the right of his torso, and then over on the left he has that telephone um, symbol. Okay, so let's have a quick 360 view of this minifigure. You can see there, there is no print into the rear. Okay, and back round to the front, let's just quickly remove that cap. And there we go, now you can see him with his face printed in those uh, sunglasses, and it is a single-sided face. Okay guys, so that's our minifigure, the Telephone Repair Man. Let's take a look at the truck. Okay, so here's our Telephone Repair Truck. Um, and uh, one of the cool things with this, and indeed with a lot of these older sets, there are no stickers. So everything you see is printed, which is fantastic, because I am not a particular fan of the stickers. So let's take a quick 360 tour of the telephone repair truck. Okay, looking into the rear now, um, the red container here is a tool chest, so that contains all the tools, and we'll get that out in a second and have a look at all those accessories. Okay, finally back round to that side view again. Um, so let's just take out the tools, like I said, it's here. We can just take that out so there we can see the little tool cabinet there. Let's take a closer look at that. Okay, so if we open up the door, like so, and you can see it's rammed with tools, uh, which we can see down here now. So let's just get these laid out. Okay, so there you can see all the tools or accessories um, that are in the toolkit there. So we have an electric drill, an oil can, a couple of spanners or wrenches, a hammer and a screwdriver. There are also two other accessories. Um, so we have this shovel and also this radio. Um, so our telephone repair man can obviously communicate back to base. So that's all the accessories and tools that come with this set. Okay, now onto the telephone booth area itself, which we can see there. So over on the left, obviously, we have a tree. Um, then there is obviously a safety barrier, 
Um, and again, everything you see here is printed. So even this is a printed brick. Um, the actual telephone booth itself, again, printed telephone and keyboard there. Um, if I spin this round, hopefully, yeah, you can pick up there. Um, these are obviously translucent blue um, like window pieces. But again, printed telephone symbol there on the side. We take a look at the rear view. Um, and again, the same on that side, you have that printed telephone. Um, there to obviously represent the telephone booth. So quite a basic build, fun little build. Um, but again, 1998, um, great little set. Okay, so there we go. That's my uh, review of this set from 1998, the telephone repair set 6422. So guys, question for you. Let me know what you think of these vintage sets, um, both from a um, aspect of do you like them, um, but also do you like them being reviewed? Obviously, it's something you can't buy new now. Um, you can get these on the likes of eBay and BritLink, etc. But, you know, give me your thoughts. Do you like to see these sets being reviewed? Personally, I like the older sets. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, that's it. Um, please do give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers!